Leave my thoughts on the table Set my keys by the door In a relationship, sometimes it's important to have a 10-second memory. Every now and then, a little reset. You said the wrong word, you gave the wrong look. 10 seconds later, everybody realizes he was actually thinking about Subway. It wasn't a wrong look, you know, that kind of thing. So I think it's very important that you take the time to give each other a break and always operate from a position of love and respect for each other. If something sounds wrong, maybe it's wrong. Maybe you're hearing it wrong. Just like an to angel in white on the way. Can you be like a drone? Straight from a song that I've known all along. Can you take the take the islands just pulling apart the waves as I fall in? I'd like to welcome everybody to Jake and Lindsay's wedding. Jake's. I always had a very cynical view of love. Never really believed that true love existed. And I most never, I mo most definitely never believed in soulmates. But then 10 years ago, almost to the day, some young guy wearing shorts and a backwards cap walked into Ace Hardware and things started to change. From the very beginning, you and I became fast friends. It was the first time I actually felt like someone understood me through and through, and I felt so comfortable around you. After only a couple weeks of dating, I remember telling all my family and friends, I know it's crazy, but I think he's the one. Well, life happened, and clearly that wasn't the case, at least at the time. You and I went our separate ways. I moved out of state, but we stayed in touch here and there. It wasn't until I was settled into my new life in Colorado that we, we became really good friends. Even a thousand miles apart, you were so easy to talk to, and our conversations brought me peace whenever my life felt chaotic and hectic, which was pretty much all the time. Through all the changes and different chapters in my life, 
I always felt a pull towards you. Looking back, I think it was most notable during my dating phase in Colorado. There's a point to this, I promise. I should have known then, but I was too blind to see it. Whenever I went on a first date with someone, I always told myself, if he doesn't make you feel the way that Jake makes you feel, then don't even bother with the second date. Which ended up being every single time. You were always my standard. You were the person I was always looking for in someone else and I was just too stubborn to recognize it. You've been by my side during the best days of my life, like the night I got the call that I was finally accepted into PA school. You've quite literally picked me up from the ground on my worst days during panic attacks, mostly caused by the stress of PA school. You've taken me to new places I've never been before and have traveled with me to all the places I visited growing up. You've taken care of me even when we were both incredibly sick from COVID. <laughs> you see my best sides and my worst sides and are still standing here, so that's saying a lot. <laughs> You're the funniest person I've ever met and always know how to make me laugh even when I'm trying so hard to be mad at you. <laughs> you know me better than I know myself and can read my emotions before I am even aware of them. I love you more than I ever thought was possible and I love the life we are building together. I'm so proud of the man you are becoming and I cannot wait to see you become a father. I promise to be the wife you deserve and the best mom possible to our future children. I promise to always be on your side and be here for you no matter what the future holds. You are my rock and I definitely don't think I would be where I am today without your love and support. That pull I always felt for you has never gone away and is stronger than ever. I may not have believed in soulmates before, but I have no doubt in my mind that you are mine. I love you, Jake, Adam Young, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Lindsay, there will never be enough words to adequately describe the love I feel for you. You have shown me what it truly means to be in love with another person. It's about so much more than having a few surface personality traits in common. I truly feel that you and I are connected on such a deeper level. If there is something equivalent to a soul that exists in every human being, I have zero doubts in my mind that ours were meant to find each other. There have been many experiences we've shared that I considered using to exemplify this, but there's one that I kept coming back to. It was a random Wednesday evening, just a few months ago. We made dinner and, in the process, had gone through about two bottles of cheap red wine. We were having trouble choosing what show or movie to put on, and finally we decided on Up. <laughs> Holy hell, was that a mistake. <laughs> Most of you here, I'm sure, have seen Up, which means you know that, spoiler alert, it takes about five minutes for the tears to start. Lindsay and I had both seen the movie many times before, and yes, we both always tried in the beginning. But this time, oh my god. I was trying to hide the fact that I was basically bawling on my side of the couch. Until I looked over only to see Lindsay's face covered in a layer of salty tears. We both look at each other and just start hysterically laughing while still hysterically crying. It had hit us so different this time around. We quickly realized it wasn't the wine, although it certainly contributed. It was the fact that this movie is about a man that is so in love with his wife that he is literally willing to go to the ends of the earth just to make her dreams come true. And until now, neither of us have felt a love that strong. Stop, you're killing me. I'm already sweating. <laughs> I promise you that I will always support your dreams and will be your loudest cheerleader. I also promise you that if you choose to do something I do not fully support, I will always be honest with you. <laughs> I promise that from this moment on, every decision I make, I will not just make, take my own needs into account, but our future and our family's future needs into account. I promise to always make you feel loved, always make you feel beautiful, and always make you feel like you can talk to me about absolutely anything. I've loved you for 10 years, although I know at the time I didn't realize it. And will never love another human being as much as I currently love you, and will continue to love you for the rest of my life. It is now my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Lindsay, you may kiss your husband. <laughs> Them by. He 
Yes to the broken man who stood and walked when he heard you can Cause it shows me that faith is more than sight When I first met Jake, him and Lindsay were dating in 2012, and I didn't like them. Then, when they went on their own ways, they kept in touch, and every time she came home to visit, they'd see each other, so I knew there was still something there, and when she moved home and told me I knew they had gotten back together, and I didn't like it. But I'm so glad I got to know him, and I'm so happy they gave each other another chance because they complement and complete each other amazingly. I couldn't ask for anyone better for my sister, and I'm so thankful that she is this happy and I'm proud to call Jake my brother-in-law. I wish you both happiness and love in your marriage, and I'm so excited for this reunion for the both of you. I love you guys. Marriage is a beautiful thing, right? I'm going to go biblical on you. Uh, man and wife, right, become one. Uh, they become one flesh. So I'm going to encourage you guys to work at it, uh, challenge each other, laugh every day. Um, it, marriage is beautiful. Don't cheapen it. Um, and every single day, you get to know each other better. And that's my advice to you. Uh, have as many babies as you possibly can. Uh, don't try and beat me though, because I'm going to beat you, okay? If you have four kids, I'm having a fit, so don't come at me, okay? So, uh, I love you guys both, all right? Uh, let's have a beautiful night, and thank you guys all for coming, all right? Thank you. Last summer, I met Jake for the first time, and it was immediately clear how joyful and at peace Lindsay was. The two of them were smitten for one another, but more than that, it was and obvious that you guys love each other deeply. In the kind of way that's only possible when a love blossoms from a best friendship and each of you had a chance to grow separately before you came back together. It is an honor to witness your love. It's a parent that's an enduring, passionate, and true, and I couldn't wish anything more perfect for my kind best friend. As his best friend, it's just amazing to witness how truly happy you guys are together, whether it's golf course, at home, barbecue, and watching a movie, it's just amazing. Just remember the three most important words, so if there's ever any trouble with anything, Lindsay, you're right, okay? That's all you gotta remember. <laughs>